Hi, it's Adorna. You know, today we're going to go through the fiduciary duties, um, the whole dialogue surrounding that. And it's dialogue that you need to make your own. You can hear my words, assimilate the concepts, but it's something that you really have to internalize because when you do, now it comes from your head and from your heart. So we're going to be looking at obedience, loyalty, disclosure, confidentiality, accounting, and reasonable skill and care. I'm going to describe them from the perspective of a buyer. Okay, you're going to be the buyer. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. Thank you very much for the opportunity to interview to be your buyer agent. You know, representation is an entitlement, an entitlement that you have, and you have the empowerment of choice. So my hope is that we'll be a great fit. You'll understand how I do my business, what I can and cannot do by law, what I will and won't do by office policy, and what I choose to do or not choose to do based on how I do my business. But one of the core pieces happens to be the fiduciary duties. I am obligated by law to follow your lawful instruction pertinent to the transaction. My function is to provide you with options, alternatives, and ramifications to choices. Take a step back, allow you to really assimilate the information, and then make a decision based on what's going to be best for you and your family. It is not my job to tell you what to do. It is merely my job to give you all the background information so you can make an intelligent choice. I will watch out for your interest above my own. Now, when's the last time a salesperson ever said that to you? Well, I'm not in sales, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. I'm in service. Representation is service. It's not sales at all. So I'm here to watch out for what is going to be beneficial to you, uh, but not to put my interest over yours in any way, shape, or form. I am also obligated by law to ensure that whatever I know, you know. Now, sometimes that's fact. Sometimes that's rumor. I'm not there to investigate the information to see whether it's true or not before I give it to you. My job is merely to be a conduit for information, not a barrier or a filter for information. That way, you can determine whether that information is in fact important to you. And if you do want me to investigate something after that, that is something that you and I can discuss. My most important responsibility um, is going to be confidentiality. Confidentiality for your motivation, your urgency, your personal situation, your personal secrets, and also your financial position. Well, that encompasses a whole lot. And at no point in time can I share that information with anyone, including the agents in my office. They're not entitled to know. Now, there are times in which family, friends of yours may run into me or call me and ask me how things are going. Please know that without your written authorization, I can't tell them anything. Nothing. All I say is everything's great and why don't you talk to them? So I take that as a very important responsibility and I'm an excellent secret keeper. I am accountable to you by law for your money, your paperwork, and your dates. Even if your lawyer is involved, my license hangs in the balance. What that means is that whether it's a home inspection, whether it's a mortgage contingency, additional dollars, or a signature, that every date is important on that contract. So unless we receive written instructions that that performance obligation has been satisfied, I have to assume that it's not going to be satisfied and work with you to ensure that we have an extension on that date so that you don't lose any money. This is a, an important one. My minimum responsibilities according to the state and the province happens to be reasonable skill and care. Well, I think if you look at my resume, you're going to get a lot more than that. You know, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, there are a lot of agents out there and not everyone is good. Not everyone is professional and not everyone is competent. I would love your business and I would love to guide you through this transaction and be your buyer agent. But, you know, as you're out there, others may say that they can do the same thing. So I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, please. 
And that is, why don't you ask those agents to describe our most important legal responsibilities, the fiduciary duties, in detail the way I have, because only a true professional would be able to do it. Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, I'd love to work with you, and I'd love to represent your interests. This is a complicated transaction, and you need a true professional to be able to guide you through it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.